Hello, thank you for joining me. So this is our second video in our series on uh, how to create a legend. And uh, of course what we're doing in this legend is creating a plan legend for doors. And you can do the same thing for windows and you could also do elevation legends for windows and doors. So we're going to limit our scope in this video uh, just to finish the series and show you how to do uh, a door legend for plan views. So we've already created a legend. We have one item here already here in our legend which is our sink and our door legend. We're going to get rid of that. What we did in the previous video Okay, delete. What we did in the previous video was uh, purge some of the items that we no longer needed. Uh, when we go to the purge command, it uh, gave us uh, the opportunity to select the doors that we wanted to purge. And those typically in the purge command are the doors that have been loaded in the project, but they are no longer being used. So we got rid of those. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be creating our legend with uh, the components that are already being used in our uh, project. So if we go to the annotate tab, go down to our detail component, go to legend component, uh, let's not choose that sink, but now you notice that we have the four doors that we have already installed in our project. They're all there waiting to go. So let's use uh, the curtain wall uh, store front double door. Use uh, the scroll wheel on the mouse to kind of scoot out a little bit so it can give us a little bit more room. And we're going to choose these doors one at a time. Now you do have to be careful with the middle mouse button that uh, sometimes it'll pop up here to our uh, options bar. And it'll select some things that uh, we may not want. It might scroll down, up and down through this list as we're doing that. So you have to be careful when you do that or understand what's happening when that happens. Let's use a second door. Double flush, double acting door. That's a lot bigger than our storefront door, which isn't really quite right. Single flush door for all of our inside doors. Let's go ahead and put that there. And we're going to rearrange the furniture in just a few minutes. And then we're going to take our uh, vision door, the one that goes to the outside from the kitchen. So in regard to our storefront double door, um, it's like I got a default setting of about three feet, which makes for a really teeny tiny door. Like probably good for maybe a, a large dog or something like that. But let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Let's make that six feet. And I believe that's probably close to what it is. Again, it's trying to fit inside of our curtain wall. And it may not be exactly uh, six feet. I think it's uh might be actually a little bit bigger than I think the space in that. So I'll probably approach it seven feet. But we're going to use six feet for now. Just something better, bigger than three feet is probably better. Let's take our uh, double acting door and see if we can line that up. That also is six feet, so it's going to line up on the left-hand side in regard to that polar uh, tracking that you saw. This door we're going to go ahead and line that up on the right, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to line up all of our doors kind of right justified. And we're going to take our text and left justify that. Now it should make for a fairly handsome legend. So what's missing in our legend right now is text. So let's go ahead and insert that text. Uh, you'll find out on your annotate bar. And the text you want to choose is not the 330 seconds of an inch text, but something that's a, kind of a subcategory text. A 330 seconds of inch text would be appropriate for small notations, um, callouts, and dimensions. But this is uh, more of a schedule. We're going to uh, add a little bit bigger text, so quarter inch text is probably adequate for that. So that's already chosen. So let's go ahead and uh, put our text box out here, and uh, let's uh, go ahead and type away on that. Before we do that, by the way, let's go ahead and find out what that door is actually called. It's called a curtain wall store front double door, and that's what we're going to call it. There is a way to automate this procedure where it will take the name of the door and actually incorporate that, that into your legend. Uh, we're not going to do that in this video, and that will be covered in uh, some future video. But for now, we're just going to remember what that door is called and uh, just put text element to that in order to identify that door. So curtain wall, store double door, storefront double door. Let's go back to annotate, go to text, and uh, let's type that in. Store, or uh, curtain wall, space, storefront double. That's all. Yep. I can't spell as well as type. So that's a little bit wordy. You can go ahead and press uh, the return key. And now to get that lined up pretty well. So let's kind of get that into place. What we're going to, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take that uh, notation, that uh, text for the first door, and copy that to subsequent doors after this. So let's go to the copy command. Make sure multiple is checked, as it is. Pick a common endpoint from one door. And let's go to the other doors down here and do the same thing. So our text is going to be lined up. Not only is it lined up to the door, but it's also lined up uh, top to bottom, too, as long as our doors are lined up top to bottom. So this door. I'm not going to do all these, but this is a double flush, double acting door. 
Let's go ahead and type that in. So double flush, double actin. Again, we can put a return in there, put that on two lines. This door, single flush 36 by 84. And then 36 inch on the bottom, X 84 inch. And so on and so forth. I'm not going to name this last one just for a demonstration. That's all we're doing right now. So let's go ahead and, uh, I mean, our legend's done here, except for changing that text down here. Let's go ahead and insert that into a plan. If we close that out, the, the legend is still there. We don't necessarily have to save it. Well, let's go to our sheet, our sheet 102 ground floor plan, and let's go ahead and insert that legend. So you find that legend under the legends area in your project browser. It's our door legend. Let's go ahead and drag that out. It's appropriate to put a floor plan legend in a plan view and it comes in there with your uh, view title already associated with it and just like our view titles before if you click on that box that contains the elements that we put in there gives us the ability to trim the tail on that so there you have it the view title has got the name of our legend and uh, the scale associated with it it's got all of our doors we want in there legends are pretty easy to put together they're very descriptive when you put them into a sheet set so that's why we're doing it. So thank you for joining me. Join me for other videos.